all right guys welcome back to another one we we are gonna have fun today so you guys see where i'm at i'm at tuner evo out here at la um at the la convention center um you see behind me yeah those are cars see behind me no people so this uh i got i got early access um and i am gonna try and show you guys as much as i can show you guys everybody that's out here before the dj the stage all of that craziness goes off because you, you know how it goes i mean they're always having fun out here but i'm gonna walk through i'm gonna show you guys the cars that are out here today um and once the music picks up you know how it goes we 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 turn on our own music i give you all the little you know cinematic pans and all that good stuff but uh we're gonna get at it while they're still getting all prepped and getting getting all the cars laid out and everybody's wiping everything down. So um, we're, we're just gonna get at it. All right, let me know what you guys think. As always, drop those comments and uh, you guys sit down. We're gonna have some fun today. All right. Alright guys, so let's do a little walking and talking while we still have a chance. We got a couple of the cars getting all getting all finished up down here by the by the entry ramp. Um, got our got our CRV that's dumped out. Um, good man, how you been? Great. So we uh, we saw him at last year's Spocom. Different set of wheels as far as I, I recognize. Really, really clean. Um, but we're all the way, I guess, in the back um, of the, the setup. So I'm gonna walk you guys, show you some of these rows that are this way. And then uh, we'll start walking up and down all the rows this way. I mean, there's, there's a ton of good, really, really good cars here. So one of my buddies got his H6 in here, Avan GTs, actually, it's really, really clean. It looks great. So uh, let's keep running down this way. Let me show you guys. Look at it. the FD right here. Liberty Walk, everything else. Security still trying to park everybody. Let's see if I can get you guys this S2K. Really clean. Voltex, Swan, over fenders, the whole kind of. I mean, that's. That's, that's how they're supposed to look. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me, uh, let's get going here. We'll do, do these two back rows and then we'll start going up and down the rows, which they had the other direction. So you got a handful of little STIs, wide bodied. I mean, that thing's huge. Everybody's still kind of getting their, their layout done and getting everything cleaned up. Dumped out GR. I think I'm just gonna call them GRs instead of 86s. I don't know. You guys, let me know. Let me know how many of that uh, uh, you guys that offends. I don't know, call that one the 86 and call this one a GR. I don't know. Looks good though. Really cool. So let's run this back row. Let me show you guys. Got a couple of the VIP cars. Always stanced out the way they're supposed to be, you know. The green, the green on the TEs. The green on the TEs looks so good. 
Now I just need to figure out what car I can build that I can do green TEs. Here's that uh, that full Mugen wagon that we saw at the at the other meet. Again, it, it, I mean, that's that's how you do a quote unquote themed car. That that entire thing is Mugen. Anything Mugen related that that they could do, they have for parts on that thing. Uh, you guys know what this is? Here, if I just showed you like like this or like the little like skeleton section on it. So at, at one point in time, it was a Lamborghini. I'm sure you guys have seen this one. They love to take it out to, you know, like the, the burnout contest and all of that and just pop off with it. Get the suspension all set up, everything. And then up in there, if you guys can see that, that is not a Lambo motor. So, you guys, which uh, which engine do they have in here? With this huge, uh, I guess we want to call it a top mount turbo. <laughs> but this this is super cool. Like, you know, if if you have the money to do a completely random project car, and you know you can get a a beat up Lamborghini or some other exotic and and do something like that, why not? You know what I mean? Like, why not? It's just fun. 300Z on some welds. Got the Evo. And then, like I was saying, we're going to come around. We're going to do this, this last row, and then we'll start walking the other ones. Let me show you guys the DA that's over here. All right. And then let's run down through this. So, got the 350Z on some VSs. 8.6 Evo, I need a scooter you guys, would you guys be okay if I just ran a scooter around the whole time little TSX another one, actually that one's really clean I like the black one you got the, the old Genesis almost called it a Tiburon. I'm sure I would have gotten in trouble for that. The EG. Oh man, I've seen this EG before. I really like it. So the one, I love what he did for wheels on this. And two, I like how he ran. Oh, you can see it. I think you guys can see that. How he ran like, like a, like a flake sparkle clear on the hood. Like that little bit of touch really, really sets that car off. Got the RSX. And Mugen Civic SI down at the end. Are the headlights Civic? Or the headlights like Odyssey. I don't know. I think it's the what the front end conversion? I don't know. It looks really good though. It's clean. I like how he has it still like I guess usable with the extra with the extra like little cargo top on it and everything got a super dumped out s2k another evo and then a really clean 180 I, I i like the style of this 180 i'm gonna i'm gonna start making my way over to the other rows you guys drop those comments let me know what you think and uh we'll keep going Let's get going. Let's do another row. So we got the the STI versus the Evo. What do you guys think? I, I actually don't get a lot of comments on that. In between the two, what what's kind of your favorite? You like the you like the Evo or you like the STI better? Or is it just a matter of generation and you know being an older Evo, 
you know, or even an older STI. What do you, what do you guys think? You guys like the STI better or the Evo better? I'm kind of interested to see how that argument goes. <laughs> All right, another good mix. Like this is, it, okay, so you got, I, I, I like this. So GTI, Camaro, S2000, and then like a 2002 BMW. Like, like that's, that's cool. And you know, they got everybody displayed up in the same area and everything else. That's, that's the way it should be. Got the, got the 2.5. Saw this one up at SEMA, the Hoonigan one. That's real cool. I, everything, I, I like the delivery and everything that they put on that. Let's, uh, let's knock out this back row and then we'll start getting into the mix of all that middle stuff. And my goal, my goal is to try and show you guys all of this before we get super busy with people. Um, and then at that point, you guys just don't really get to see the cars, which, you know, I know you guys are here for the cars. I know it. So you got a, what, a Jay's kit on the S2K with the, with still the, the, the soft top down with the soft top down. What do you guys think of it in a convertible, like kept in a convertible and not, not with a hard top on it. I mean, if you guys have watched my channel long enough, you know, like I, of all the things for me, I can't do it with, this, with the soft top down. I don't know, but it gives the car like a completely different look without it having a hard top on it. Evo, Voltex, everything. Look at the, look at all the canards and everything else on this. I mean, when you want to start, when you want to start playing with downforce, got a Sinister's NSX. And then two really, really clean FDs. Um, both kind of, I would say, initial D themed would be the best way to put this. Um, you got this one, and then see you got there the Project D, which is which is part of the initial D series. Later on, when they when they start going out and and basically beating on everybody else's everybody else's mountain roads. Do you guys still watch the initial D series? I I can't help myself but to like keep rewatching it. I don't know. 35, 300Z, let's come around. And a wide body that's on my right. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to come back for and show you guys because that thing's ridiculous. Alright, so I'm gonna flip around, I'm gonna show you guys the 32. The FD, right? Dumped out FD. That thing looks so good. They're not done setting up and everything. But look at this wide body G82. Like, this thing is nuts. Like, super, super. Look, here, let me show you how wide. See the headlight? Where the headlight ends, that's, that's where the, the car is supposed to end. And that thing goes out. I mean, look, look how wide the fenders are. That's crazy how wide body this thing is that's i it, it actually it looks like a gt3 gt4 race car with how with how wide it is but they have the rear all smoothed out and everything else looks really good got a newport drip over here with with all their uber luxury cars calling in the urus bunch of good stuff we got a uh, liberty walk urus here um r35 you got everybody starting to like get moving on like the finishing and getting stuff cleaned up the shooting of like the first shooting of models and like the cars and everything else they're starting like i've been here for a couple hours helping with setup and doing some other stuff and uh everything was kind of nice and slow nobody was really moving nobody was really doing anything and now that we're like an hour or so out from, you know, maybe like a half an hour out from the first set of people coming in. Like hey, everybody's starting to move a lot quicker. So everybody's trying to get their like final setups and everything else. We have a bunch of good vendors out here. You got Ray's, Yokohama, they're out here. Um, you got Stance Society. I'll, I'll try and show you guys the, the vendors that come out too because they always have interesting stuff too. 
nice huge uh, wide body street hunter kit on the on the Supra. Cool kind of mix of like VIP type stance cars for this crew. This is one of the one of the many car crews that's here today, which is good. I I was kind of talking about that at the last event where I really enjoy when all the car crews come out because they park up a lot of like really clean, you know, uh, not necessarily matching cars, but typically, typically each of the car crews kind of have their own style and of that style, you know, they have a bunch of clean cars. So that's cool. He's got some Emmets on it that uh, I haven't seen in that color combination. I like how he did that. Let's go down through. Stance out model three. You guys know we're going to keep getting more and more of those. But they, okay, so I know you guys will, will hate me in the comments on this. The, the Tesla, like the model three, that doesn't look bad stanced out. I mean, it really doesn't. I think the smooth body and everything else on the car really, really makes a difference when they're, when they're lowered and they're stanced out. I think they look, I think they look a lot, lot better. All right, so we're gonna come around the corner. I showed you guys these. We're gonna come back around and we're gonna, we're gonna make this next row for you guys. So you got the EG, they're doing their last, uh, I would say cleanup, but I think it's, it might be repairs at this point. You know how it goes. Always that last minute thing to get it to a show. And an MK4 on some CEs. Oh, that looks so good. I don't know, I've been, I, the MK4 has always been a great car, but it's turning into one of those like, like R34 cars that are just really just priced out and hard to get a hold of. All right, we're gonna run down through all the big bodies here. So everything from what like Cedric's, Gloria's, BMW's, all, all a bunch of stance cars. Ooh, not miss the first one. Here we go. Let me run down and show you. And of course the Lexus, you know, the LSs, the ESs, everything else. I mean, they're so clean. Nice big body car. Just, just cruise down the highway on these things. All right, so. We're, we're just going to keep going. I mean, I'm just going to keep showing you guys. So we're going to run down here. A couple really clean Evos. Motul. And then uh, we got our guys from Prolific here. They always have sick cars. I mean, look at the size. Okay, so you guys see all the flags, all the banners? The banners are two full rows of banners. That's how big this club is. This is how big... And, and their cars are always crazy. Like they're never like half done cars. They're never like, oh, hey, I just, you know, I got, I just have a clean car. No, they're always done. They're always special. They always look awesome. Um, trying to show you guys everything before we start getting mobbed with people. I mean, look how, like, I mean, I, I wasn't kidding. Look at that set. Like, that set. Oh, look at the BBSs on that. All right. So I'm going to come around, and I'm going to show you two full rows. Two full rows for this, this group, okay? I mean, look, RWB. Sorry. Spinning around in circles for you guys. And then uh, some, some more from Newport Drip and what they do. And then we're going to come around the corner, and I'll show you... I am America. He gets a special thanks today because uh, he helped me get in early. Um, and I'll show you some other stuff. They're, they're actually doing some really crazy stuff. And you're going to see this name. Like, this name is just going to explode for, for everything they're doing. So I, I'll talk about that a little bit later. You'll see a little bit more on my channel because we're going to be covering some of his events um and it's it, again crazy all right let, let me let me just tell you how crazy that's gonna be okay 
is, I mean, look, look, look at the, the full ASM S2000. That's, that's how crazy it's going to be. Okay. If, if this is, if this is his, if this is his, uh, his, not daily, but you know, like, like his car that helps represent the brand and what they do. I, I mean, just nuts. So they're try not to give away all the secrets. Okay. Like, let, let me put it this way. Let me, let me real quick, real quick. So I'm going to put it this way. And, uh, what you see here, uh, what they're going to do is, is just going to dwarf what you see here. Okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys see when I like go to Japan and I do Tokyo Auto Salon and I do, you know, the, the big events like Wickfest and all of that stuff out there that, uh, you guys keep an eye out. Okay. That's, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. All right. Now let's, uh, let's go back through and, and just so you guys know, I'm not sponsored. I wasn't paid. I did get a ticket to get in through them and I highly appreciate that. Um, but they, they are definitely doing big things. So that's one of those ones where I'm happy to know them and kind of be involved with things a little bit and, uh, you know, be able to be able to see stuff take off and show you guys as it does. So, all right. Like I was, okay. So I, I had started all of this on the other row and was like, Hey, look at this. Uh, look at this team. Look at this car club. Look how big the cars that are up and down this row are just absolutely ridiculous. And I mean, look how clean everything is. Like I, it's just, I, this, this car club here, uh, is just absolutely amazing for, for the cars that they bring out all the time. Um, all right. So we've got the rest of this row. Let me run down through, show you guys. <laughs> and then, like I said, we're going to try and, we're going to try and finish up and show you as much as I can before, uh, Hey, this is what happens when they show up late. You gotta, you gotta take them to where they gotta, you know, where they're supposed to be, I guess. Um, <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, so we got, we got another G, G80, G82, because it's a two-door. Uh, F82, so you got the BMWs representing. You guys let me know. Uh, should, I, should I give you guys more Euro stuff? Should I cover more of the, the Euro cars and exotics or, or stay to... To the jdm because you guys know i love my jdm you know i'm gonna keep going to japan and everything else but if you guys enjoy the euro cars and everything i'll definitely keep going i'll you know pick up the meats and everything else with them we're back down at the end where this uh this full liberty walk rx7 is i mean that thing is crazy i love that style all right so we've got look we're 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 not even halfway done we're not even halfway done. Look how good this is. This is this is crazy for size, and it hasn't even gotten started with all the all the craziness, the music, the models, everything else. You know that that's going to be how it goes. It's just going to keep going. Um, so I'll show you guys all of that. I'll show you the crowds and everything once everybody starts coming in. But I think I'm gonna walk this row and then turn around and walk back the other row again. Look how popular the the STIs and the Evos are I mean they're just super super popular like I keep just it, it's like re it's like a reoccurring theme here you know and all different kits everything else oh man look at this look at this 34 up here 34 BBS's Millennium Jade Green this this is this is the the spec I, I, I won't even like, not even mess around, you know, it's on endless. Look, ARC intake, moved over to a, a big single or ah, medium sized single. Cause you know, the big signals are kind of, kind of crazy. ARC strut bar, Nismo intake surge tank. I mean, that thing is, ah, it's, that that's just beautiful beautiful and now the the price of a house <laughs> all right so 
We got another club, another club down this way. We'll uh, we'll walk this row. I'll show you. We got kind of a good mix. Uh, some VIP cars. Got a like a Pandem kitted uh, Supra. So this is uh this is really one of the fun things about getting the really early access. Um, is able to show you guys all this without all the music playing, without all that extra stuff. So, you guys, let me know what you think. If you guys like the early access, then this is definitely stuff I'll I'll, I'll try and keep doing for you. You know, I I kind of had another another just sick 34. Look at the size of the turbo. That's a that's definitely a over thousand horsepower turbo okay that size so on some on some like teal te's this is uh this is one of the shops here in uh here in socal that that run this one next to that you got a really nice s15 you guys know that uh i keep looking at the s15s i mean i really really do they uh i don't know there's something about them just the size and the shape and everything else. I've really been feeling the, the 15s lately. Got the BMW bike, the double R. That, uh, that's, uh, that's ready to tear up some cars right there. Then you got the, the SR20 in the 14 Pandam kitted, uh, Wide body, check it out. So clean, like absolutely spotless. RS6, you guys, I was talking about the RS6 at the last meet. Look at, I mean, look how big the big body this thing is, but I, I again, you know how much I'm loving the wagons. So I can't, I can't help myself on the wagons. Let's, uh, let's run down. We still got a couple rows. You guys hang in there. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, drop those comments as always. Let me know what cars you like. Let me know if you want me to stay longer on a specific type of car. If there's something more that you want to see. I know I've had a couple comments where, you know, as I was talking about the cars, they wanted to see like a like a wheel and tire combo or a wheel and brake combo. So I've been trying to show you guys that. 32, the red 32 on the like rebarreled LMs. I, man, that looks good. I, I'm missing my 32, but we're getting close. We're getting close, okay? Just so you guys know, we're getting close to the 32 running again. So I'll have to drop some more videos for that for you guys and, and show you that. Really, the uh, uh, spoon themed EK, spoon brakes, wheels, nice and simple. Like you guys know for a Honda, that's, I love that look right there. Just nice and simple. You got the Integra next to it. He's got the front end conversion. Just again, lip, drop, wheels, simple. You know, he's got Will Woods on it and everything too, which, which, is, which is expected, you know, you gotta, you got to match the power performance and suspension performance with brakes, but like it's all it needs. Look, the, the Midori green, that's, that's of all the colors like that, that's that, that classic color right there. I, I don't know. I mean, as much as I want black and I love a black, like that, that color is, is like the color for, for the little civic hatches. I don't know. I probably I probably upset somebody and, and do like a do like an EG in that color too just because. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna run down. That's the end of this group. We still have more cars. Look, we still have more. We're gonna run down through here. They got a couple classics. So the '57 we saw up at Peterson. I really like this. Like, it's a different look. It's it's you know classic muscle meets the um like kind of the low rider look but it's not it's not like low rider because the wheels are bigger you know it's not on on really like if you look at this one compared to the what like monte carlo 
you know, whichever. Sorry, I probably missed that body, but like this one with the with the littles. I like how it's like a modern a modern take on like a low ladder. Got the little Continental kit in the back. That thing's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so we got. I, I man, I don't think I've done the R8 row with you guys. It seems like this is like just non-stop here you guys are gonna get like just a an hour-long video so you guys let me know if that's again you guys drop those comments and let me know if you know running through a full meet like this and just kind of showing you everything is is what you want to see you know or if it's just too long and you're like hey you know i need a i need a 10 minute video you know and that's all i want i'll give you a highlight video but I know, I know one subscriber that's definitely going to comment and say, absolutely love that it was 30 minutes plus, because, you know, we, we, we know, I, I, I pay attention, I pay attention, and, and you guys will know if you comment enough that I try and respond to you guys and, and, and make sure and, and respond to your comments and everything else. Um, I like a nice little Honda line here. A lot of, a lot of... A lot of dumped out and stanced cars, which, which I found is really kind of the thing that's, that's, that's been popular uh, in, in the SoCal area. I mean, I get, to see, I get to see race cars, I get to see everything else, but the, definitely the stanced look is, uh, is, is popular uh, in, my, in my area. You guys, do you have... Do you have that stance? What's the most popular type of build? I mean, you know, are you, you got lifted trucks, you got drop trucks, you got stance cars, you got race cars, you know, just hood exits. Oh, yeah. Gotta be a thousand horsepower build or you don't see it, you know, all that kind of stuff. What do, what do you guys, what do you guys get in your area? Drop a, actually, that'd be great. You guys, drop, drop, Drop what area you're in. Drop the city. Drop what type of car. You know, is it is it big is it big boy muscle cars, turbos, superchargers, nitrous? Is it you know, full full slicks on the street? You know, or is it is it stance cars? Is it the JDM look? Is it you know a bunch of right hand drives? Because that's the other thing we're getting a ton of lately, is right hand drives, which is great. I mean, you know how much I love that, and I've definitely commented on that before is i love seeing all the right hand drive cars come in i don't like that it's driving the price up but i like seeing all the right hand drive cars come in and i'm really looking forward to how everybody really starts building them so you guys drop those comments drop your city drop your city where you're from and what type of builds are in your area and let me know you know i i, I can definitely try and and show you more of it or maybe even come out to your area and shoot, you know, shoot in your area. And I mean, I, you guys know I like to travel. I like to show everybody, you know, what's around. So if you got something, shout it out. You guys can DM me and, and we'll talk about it. Getting a little... Get a little hydro action. There we go. Look at that thing. Come over here, show you guys a couple, couple cars that are over on this side, and then we'll do the last couple rows. And then we'll close out until it gets busy, and then I'll show you guys the rest of what's going on out here when it turns into a, a party atmosphere and everything else. So what do you guys think of that? Model Y dumped out again kind of a lowrider type of theme to it just with the new design it's got all the air and and pumps and everything and and look I don't know if you guys can see the the like scroll work and everything else that's that's pure artistry you know so it's it definitely comes from the lowrider side of things all the paint work airbrushing like it's so clean though so all right and then we got we got our friends with the Bronco. I mean, they're at everything. They're, they, they just win. 
they got they got a perfect build that they take off roading. This that's what impresses me so much about this build. Is they've got you guys can look them up. They've got they go to all the shows. They win everywhere because because it's an incredible build. But uh, they actually take this thing off roading. Here, let me show you guys the Bronco Adventures. You guys check them out. They always run live at events too, which is really cool. So if you want a, a quick first hand of what's going on at a show, you can definitely get that with them. All right, let me run down here. Looks like I'm in one of the last rows. And then we'll end up cutting and I'll show you guys the rest as it comes up. What else we got going on? Got our friends from uh, the Fujiwara Tofu Cafe out here. Brought a couple of the couple of the initial D cars. You got the 86. You got the 2.5, which looks like a 22B. Looks like they're gonna start testing the music, so we are right on time for the last couple cars. And then at that point, you know how it goes. It's gonna be nothing but party after this. So I'll definitely show you guys what what happens once we get started, and you guys let me know what you think. But all right, so. I ran you guys through, you guys let me know. Um, do you like this, all this pre-meet stuff and everything else where I just kind of run through before the crowds are here, show you all the cars, it is what it is, and I'm like, bang, bang, okay, cool, we're done. So if you guys like that style, let me know. If you want more of the cinematic approach with the music in the background and everything else, I'm gonna mix a little bit of that into this video just because it's fun to do. Um, so you guys let me know what you like best, but since they're playing music, you know how that goes. I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna show you guys what else show you some some cinematic stuff some music everything else and uh i hope you guys enjoyed it so drop those comments let me know what you think and thanks for hanging out to the end uh i hope you guys enjoyed it uh i'll see you guys at the next one I, you know how it goes all right i'll see you guys at the next one thanks bye